Another way that we can cut out in Photoshop is to use the pen tool. The pen tool in Photoshop is extremely similar, almost exactly the same to the pen as the pen tool in Illustrator. My pen tool is located here in my toolbar, so I'm just going to click on it. If I click and hold, I have some more options. I can add an anchor, delete an anchor, or convert a point just as an Illustrator. Just as an Illustrator, you're going to sort of click and drop dots and draw a shape around what it is that you want to cut out. Uh, because you should all know how to use the pen tool in Illustrator already, I'm going to go ahead and skip to an example of this picture that I've already um, cut out with the pen tool, which is this one right here. There's my uh, outline that I made with the pen tool. You can just barely see it. It's a little faint uh, gray line. What I want to do once I have finished the line and enclosed the shape is go to Window, Paths, and pull up my paths. I can see here it is. Uh, everything selected in white. Um, everything that I have drawn around is selected in white. If I hold Control and I click on this, I can now choose Make Selection. Uh, feather Radius, that's uh, kind of the idea of how hard or soft is that line going to be? Am I going to cut everything on the outside of the line completely away, or am I going to have it kind of fade a little bit into the background? So you really don't want to feather it too much. Ten pixels is too much. I'm just going to do one or two. Um, just make an executive decision and do two. Let's hit OK, and now this path that I made looks more like a selection. It has that uh, dotted line going around it. Now if I zoom out, I can see that I've actually selected Superman. If I press delete, I'm going to delete Superman. And that's not really what I want, so I'm going to press Apple Z. First I'm going to go to Select, Inverse, and now you see the lines kind of around the outside of this picture. That means that I've selected all the stuff between Superman and the outside of the picture. So if I click on that and I press delete, I'm going to delete all of that. Now you'll see that he has a white background. That's because right now Superman is just one layer. So if I were to put this you know, in another picture, it would have this white background around it. So what I can do is I can actually uh, go to my layers panel and I'm going to drag the background over this new layer image and create a copy. So let's throw away the background and on the copy, let's press delete again, and now he has a clear background. So I can um, press Command D to deselect, and you can see Superman has this clear background behind him. I'm going to select all of him, press Command C for copy, and let's just put him over top of another image. Press Apple V for paste, and you can see that Superman is sort of over top of this. I'm pressing Command T and holding Shift just to shrink him a little bit. Now here's where that feathering comes in. I'm going to press Enter. Uh, you can sort of see this faint line around Superman because I used a little bit of a feather. And here you can see the individual pixels. So if my line that I made with my path came down here, I told it to feather two pixels. So it copied one two pixels from the outside of Superman, but made them sort of transparent. So if I were going to do that again, I would probably use less of a feather.